Clifford the Big Red Dog in the Big Leaf Pile. Please like and subscribe. It was a beautiful autumn day on Birdwell Island. Cleo, Clifford, and T-Bone were making leaf piles. Cleo finished her pile of leaves. They were red, yellow, orange, gold, and brown. She counted one, two, three, and jumped in. Clifford finished his pile of leaves. They were red, yellow, orange, gold, and brown. He counted one, two, three, and jumped in. T-Bone's pile was not finished yet. T-Bone's pile had only brown leaves. Brown leaves make a nice, loud sound. Crunch. I need more leaves, T-Bone said. I'll help, said Clifford. I'll help too, said Cleo. And they did. T-Bone's pile of leaves was ready, but T-Bone had to go home. It was time for him to go for a walk. I'll watch your leaves, said Clifford. They will be safe with me, I promise. You're a good friend, said T-Bone. And a happy T-Bone trotted off. Clifford watched the pile of leaves. He watched, and he watched some more. This is a very nice leaf pile, he said. I can't wait to hear its loud sound. We could jump in carefully so we don't mess it up, said Cleo. Yes, we could, said Clifford. Then let's jump, said Cleo. Clifford and Cleo ran to the pile and jumped in with a big crunch. The leaves flew. A strong wind blew them everywhere. Oh no, said Clifford. Clifford and Cleo chased T-Bone's leaves. One leaf was on a weather vane. Another leaf was under a mail truck. Clifford and Cleo found a leaf on a swing in the playground. They found a leaf on a plate of fries. <laughs> Clifford and Cleo found every one of the missing leaves. This is a great leaf pile, said Clifford. I can't wait to hear the noise it makes, said Cleo. We could jump in, Clifford said. But we won't, they said together. T-Bone came back. His pile looked even bigger and better than before. Thanks for watching my leaves, he said to Clifford. I want you to be the first to jump in. We must tell you the truth. We've already jumped into your pile. All your leaves flew away, Clifford said. But Cleo and I got them back. I'm sorry, T-Bone. I'm glad you told me the truth, said T-Bone. I still want you to jump in first. So Clifford jumped in with a big crunch. Then Cleo and T-Bone jumped in. Crunch, crunch. And the three friends enjoyed the rest of the beautiful autumn day. Well, I hope you like that Clifford story, and I hope you come back for our next one. I love you guys. As Tigger says... Ta-ta for now.